So I've got a bottle with a couple of inches of water in the bottom. I'm going to blow into it and excite the Helmholtz mode just with air in the cavity. To hear the sound. Then I'm going to put a bunch of Alka-Seltzer into the bottle. And Alka-Seltzer, as it dissolves, gives off carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a gas that is heavier than air and it has a sound speed that's lower than air, so we should find that after the bubbles stop rising and the cavity of the Helmholtz resonator and the neck are both now filled with carbon dioxide instead of air, then uh, we should find that it sounds quite a bit different. came up pretty quickly because as you blow into it the carbon dioxide ends up coming out and it fills up with air again but it did change at the beginning put some Alka-Seltzer in it let that dissolve so it fills the bottle the cavity up with carbon dioxide all dissolved, I'll give it a blow. Started out low because the sound speed was much lower in carbon dioxide. As you blow into it, the air circulates and the carbon dioxide leaves and it fills with air again. The pitch comes back up. So maybe we can try a measurement uh, with a loudspeaker and a microphone inside to measure the resonance frequencies with air and carbon dioxide just to see the effect a little bit more slowly or clearly without it changing pitch when I blow into it with the with my mouth to make the air move. Mm -hmm.